What's up guys? Did you ever wonder what the rule of thirds is and how it affects your photographs? Well, you clicked on the right video. It is very easy to forget composition in your pictures and without some thinking and fundamental guides, it can break your photo. The rule of thirds is one of the most important and the simplest out of all. This composition guide helps you create a more interesting and more visually appealing photo, which is always important when capturing the viewer's attention. So what is the rule of thirds? With the rule of thirds, you divide your image into nine separate and equal rectangles of one third. This can be achieved by drawing two vertical lines and two horizontal lines intersecting at four points in the middle. Of course, you can picture the lines or you can set it up on your camera. All right, we understand what the rule of thirds is, but now you have to understand how to use points of interest. All of us, when looking at a photo, look at intersection points. So by placing your subject on these points, you can achieve a well-balanced photo that will be much more visually appealing. So you can see in this photo, courtesy of expert photography, that girl is on one of the intersecting points. Now, this doesn't only apply to people, but all kinds of photography. For instance, this landscape photo applies the rule of thirds by placing the mountain and the boat on two of the intersection points. So we have these two pictures here, and you can really see how when the subject is following the rule of thirds, it makes it more appealing. In the first picture, the subjects are in the middle and you look at the picture and then look away. However, in the second picture, the subjects are placed on the right vertical line, adding more background and depth to your image. We saw a good and bad picture in portraits, but now what about landscape photography? Well, it works the same way. So I took a picture ignoring the rule of thirds by placing the building in the center of the frame. However, following the rule of thirds, I put the building on the vertical line following the rule of thirds. This creates an image where you can look at the building while seeing the trees and the sea. Now, you might be asking, why not place the main subject in the center because that's what I want to shoot? Well, a person's attention on a picture is always on the left and right, and then in the center. So by wanting the person to look in the middle, you are already making it less appealing. But can you break the rule of thirds? Of course you can. The rule of thirds is just a guide, but then everyone can be creative and take the pictures they find appealing. However, the rule of thirds just gives you an idea of what is appealing, but from there you can be creative and do whatever you want. But keep in mind that you need to have a very specific reason to break this rule. This picture that won the Coco Armade in second place, but it didn't respect the rule of thirds at all. Why? Because the strength of the image and the character justified breaking the rule. So all in all, should you be using the rule of thirds? Yes, you will see that after using this rule, your picture composition will be so much better. You will be creating images that are eye-capturing and more appealing to people. With a lot of practice, you can master this rule and be on a very good way to create stunning pictures. If you learned something new, then please leave a like, subscribe, and hit the bell to stay notified when I release my next video. Also, if you missed my previous video, then please click the card shown up here. Okay, take care, and I'll see you in my next video.